Our unit was flying March 13, 1997, as part of Operation Snowbird, and we were conducting night training. This is a map of the training area that we use when we fly in the airplane. According to the Maryland Air National Guard, the illumination flares were deployed, fell, and disappeared from sight behind the mountain range seen in the video. But many eyewitnesses claimed that the lights they saw were in front of the range and therefore could not have been the same flares. In an attempt to settle this crucial debate, we gave the tapes shot by one of the witnesses to Dr. Leonoid Rudin of Cognitech, a California-based image processing firm. Rudin examined the same images that had been previously analyzed by Jim Dilatoso. We were presented with two videotapes. One videotape was shot at night. Another videotape was uh, made uh, during the day from approximately same location with the camera pointing in approximately same direction. We superimposed two video sequences. We produced a new video sequence in which each frame is a combination of two frames, night and day. We registered the hill. We have no control whether it comes below the mountain or above the mountain. After several hours, the intricate process was complete. That's right. This is a loop which repeats this uh, disappearing sequence over and over again. And the one thing that we see here, which is striking, is that at no point the lights disappear above the ridge of the mountain, and at no point the lights descend below the ridge of the mountain. The disappearance of the light coincides precisely with the point in time when the light is exactly at the top of the mountain. And that happens not with one light, not with two lights, but with all the lights that we see on the videotape. Therefore, the only conclusion we have is that those lights are behind the mountains, not in front of the mountains. Armed with this information, watch the videotape again and judge for yourself. Are these merely flares dropping behind a mountain range or UFOs mysteriously vanishing? Sometimes the human eye can form its own conclusions. <laughs>